and the celebrations are wild. <laughs> She's doing the bicycle. <laughs> We're back. Welcome back. Graduates. Welcome to my kitchen. This is where most of the graduation um, ceremonies ceremonies go down. Fully stashed up. Yeah, I, yeah. Available in store. Jacko, I'm not feeling like we need to crack on with it today. Okay. Show me. What I wanted sh- to talk about how you downgraded to a small t-shirt. Oh, uh, well, that's probably for another day. Q&A question. It's a great fit. Um, September graduates, what's been going on? There has been the month of muscle ups. The month of muscle ups. So you're going to see a lot of muscle ups. Um, and yeah, let's get into uh, celebrating these bad boys. Muscle ups a big one for, for people. It is. Can remember, I can remember the first time we were trying to do both bar and rings. And it is a definite, this feels impossible type of moment. So you're going to see some, 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 the celebrations is what always makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Keep me in suspense no longer, David. You were even present at one of them. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you right, go. Right, let's go on. Go. Come on, let's go. Hit the jingle. I've even. Oh, there you go. oh no, look. Oh, no, you've covered the screen. Yeah, sorry. I've... There we go. I didn't think about that. We can bring, well, we can move us after. Anyway. September graduation. I thought you might cut that out. No, nah, I think we'll leave that bit in. I like it. Rough and ready. Just show people Loosey how Loosey. it really happens. So, first up, um, or just just pause it. There we go. Note the setup. School class next rig. Um, ben Brown from the virtual classroom. Um, and one of the things I was saying to you before is, I love it when we see someone's like genuine first muscle up the actual graduation as, as opposed to and we've got a couple of those this time as opposed to a lot of the time people will wait till they can do three or four or five and they feel like it really comes with them and then it's like right now i'm ready to graduate and that's cool also because as we said it's it's when you feel that you're you're ready for it but ben brown this is his first he's done his ring one it's recently been, Ben's a workshop as well great yeah. guy yeah well deserved but as you can see boom oh. Get it. Get there. Yes. And to be fair, you know, for a, that, he's also wearing he's got school, t-shirt, he's got a school well. t-shirt on. But you can see, I see the little celebration. I'd have liked to have seen it, just a tad more of a celebration from, um, from Ben, maybe giving it some big licks. But um, his, his message sort of said, you know, uh, um, it could be cleaner. Um, Everyone says that about muscle. Yeah. I still say that about mine. Yeah. Fair. But he comes over the top. He doesn't, he doesn't go one side, then the other. And I think one, that shape that he gets into there in the trousers, and both arms have gone through together. And we talk about the importance of being able to pull till the bar reaches your sternum. And that's where you can see why. Once your bar gets your sternum, it gives you a chance to get into the bottom of a deep bar dip. And we pause there, you go, is he, at the bottom of, is he at the bottom of a dip or is he at the top of his pull? Yeah, and the easiest bit of this is to go to get, make that easier. It's just get faster at pulling higher. The higher you can pull, the less um, range of movement you need to go to work through when you get to your dip. So you basically, you transition higher. Because the last little bit here with Ben, he just has to fight for getting out of that bottom position. If he caught that a bit higher, because he pulled higher, it's going to be easier. Yeah. But these are the things that's great about calisthenics because you've always got something you can do to work on, just move these things forward. Put a little bit of polish on, but I am proud of you on that one, Benjamin. And I noticed that he's got his uh, weighted vest here. So uh, he can do a little bit of power work, working on some weighted pull-ups and then some speed work, as Tim mentioned. Actually, you can see he's got his green band down at the bottom. He's been doing some mobility work. But combine your strength and your speed to generate power, get powerful, pull fast, you're going to get high. You know what they say, Jacko? All the gear, in this case, all the ideas. ideas. (laughs) Right, next up is a special one. This is Five from the Retreat. I'll let Tim um, tell the story of... uh, when she comes up. So next up is Laura Clark. There we go. And you can see Tim, look, in the background. There you go. Looking good, Tim. So this was a... This was on She's even retreat. dyed her hair the colour of the school. Time. That's cool. <laughs> Laura and Darren have been engaged with us from right from the beginning. They've yeah. been on three retreats. They've been to Marbella. And Laura's had this muscle up in her uh, impossible box for the last two years, but she's put a ton of work into it. And she came to the retreat and I said to her, in our one-to-one sessions, what do you want to work on? And she just said, I need to crack my muscle up. And she was sort of, I think, there's a little bit of magic dust at the, at the retreat, <laughs> isn't there? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all of the credit. But what we did was basically just start to troubleshoot around. I got to show me where she was at. 
And we just started to play around with this position because she was so, so close to getting it. And all it took was one cue. Yeah. So one thing she wasn't doing um, was basically on the rings, was pulling high enough, but then remembering that there comes a point where you've got to shift that force downwards. So that internal shoulder rotation, just to give yourself that opportunity to shift the, the elbow on top of the wrist. And you, someone will sit there and go, well, of course you've got to do that. But that's not always the case yeah. when we're doing calisthenics. She sometimes needs somebody just to give you a little bit of context or tell you the one thing that you're not doing because there's so much going on. And Laura's done an, an incredible job on this. Yeah, so um, she was, built a ton of strength. Yeah, because we'd seen before, like pulling high enough, like comfortably pulling high and pausing at the top of that pull with a good false grip, dipping deep enough. Um, and it was she just wasn't piecing it together. And it, I guess it was the difference of having, and, and she said afterwards that having Tim there just one on one for it wasn't even, it wasn't like this wasn't an hour later into session. It was um, maybe 15 minutes into, into your one on one. And you just found something that, that you noticed that she was missing. And it just made that connection uh, for her. Yeah, so, I think the one thing, just before we do it, is yeah. like you often talk about pulling high than pushing the bar down. We don't always talk about on the rings because you've got that yeah. space in between. So just to go to show, sometimes you just need a little bit of Yeah, support. so if you feel Let's like... Enjoy. Yeah. Nice false grips. Boom, boom. And you can... <laughs> the celebrations are wild. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing the bicycle. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Super happy. Like that, that was actually sort of Laura's weekend made and... I think especially anyone who knows how much time that's gone into sort of achieving something like this is, um, we will appreciate that. Yeah, and what we'll also appreciate is my celebration. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> and Unbelievable. For, for, we say it a lot, but then that is the reality of it. We say that, you know, the longer the journey and the harder it is and the more struggle you have, actually the richer the the process and the richer the enjoyment afterwards and you see that there um, on her face in a celebration and it was a pleasure to be a part um, yeah, to see it. of that as well um, and so to reiterate that point that if you're someone that is pulling high and dipping deep and you're just not piecing that together maybe you're not actually applying the force and the transition downwards transitioning from pulling force into pushing force um, so that may be one for you to help you redefine your own possible too this is are you are you not now absolutely gagging to go speaking of high tim here's sam high that's a jacko joke um i hadn't you well yeah, no, you know that it. one no i didn't think okay. about it from uh, new zealand i believe way down what well, thing i like well, wait 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 the thing i love about this is right people have problems in the gym sometimes with low ceiling heights no problem tim take a t- take a wow. take a bit out of the roof I actually did that in the National Performance Centre of British Para Swimming in Manchester. So you had permission. No, nope. because <laughs> I'm an original rebel. <laughs> so Sam comes in strong body position. Boom. Flip. Through the straight roof. Straight up. So you see the... That was, came through quick. You can see the speed of that lift and how high he gets. Some of it created by like the momentum of that starting position and uh, movement of the knee. So if you were to make... not 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 for the purpose of making a comparison, but just how like Ben perhaps didn't in the first one, didn't move as fast, but he um, kept his, his knees in a straighter position. Um, and you just see the difference here of how um, those legs are helping. Fine. You can decide whether you want to do more or less of that. That's totally up to, to you, but you see that the speed that's created because of that, um, how high he gets like there is almost getting the hips to the bar. Yeah. And then that transition is an awful lot easier. Now, the same we talked about the principle with Ben to be able to get higher is about creating power and pulling with speed. Well, if you want to be able to get that high um, for, for Sam here without moving his knees, if he does, up to him, then he needs to do the same process. He needs to develop more power, which is strength and speed. Yep. And that's just a bit of a difference between a, like a, a kipping muscle up and one that um, would be described as strict. And again, Jacko says, you choose how you want to move. This is a, again, it's a great example of a muscle up. The just difference is that you just don't necessarily, in a strict muscle up, push your hips into this position where you're almost parallel um, underneath the bar. But again, it's a nice little control muscle. The shoulder's going over at the same time. It's got control of movement, so we make that as a happy, yeah. as a happy Probably the, the biggest thing to, to try to make sure and avoid is it's the position that the shoulder's getting into as yeah. you transition through. And if you keep your shoulders, uh, you know, that humeral head, in a good position at the joint, um, yeah, don't get then one we're not going to get into one down, yeah. And don't just absolutely rifle the shoulders <laughs> to the front of the socket. Those are two things to avoid. Very good. Well done. Yeah. Next up now. 
I was thinking you could have a go at pronouncing this one. Um, Rodrigo Pereta yeah. Azumendi. I reckon you probably about that. I, reckon you're probably about I think that. it probably needs a little bit of accent, but this is the first time I've seen it. Rodrigo Pirata Azumendi. Boom. It's your time to shine, son. Oh, he's coming Boom. hot. Nice. nice. That does help, actually, that last that, that little bit of a walk-in. We've used that with people before. Is actually approaching the bar with a little bit of momentum. Oh, it up, actually allows you to start to get in that, that yeah. initial first pull. And the second rep of muscle-up is always easier than the first because you, you're operating with a little bit of assistance from a stretch shortening cycle. Yeah. I think because a lot of people struggle with the setup position because we're so used to just being up and down underneath the bar mm. for our pull-ups that actually we don't get that sort of 25 to on the clock face and getting, allowing the, okay, it's, he's, we're swinging there, but he's getting his body past the line of the bar. And again, if he wants to um, take out that knee shift in that position, then it comes down to the rope and more power. But that was... Um, you know, it's a, it's a nice, yeah. fast pull, gets over the bar nice and, and smoothly. Yeah, the difference here is you're going to go underneath the bar into a setup position similar to this. And if you're going to just go more pulling power, like Jack says, you just body, whole body should move on a line in that direction and then transition over. Yeah. The difference being when you want to start to use the momentum, you use that swing, you drive the hips and the knees upwards so you end up in this shape here underneath the bar. Yeah. And then you're just going to basically roll over the top of it as you come through. And the principle is the same. He's on that, the knees are driving up on that diagonal to help with that, just yeah. proving that that is the position, the motion that we want to, to go in. And then, you know, for a lot of people, the, the most important thing when you're trying to redefine your impossible muscle is breaking through that like barrier. And sometimes it's a little bit mental as well as physical of um, getting past that top pull up position actually getting through into um, a transition and once you can do that then you can worry about how, whether how strict and, and no movement at all that you want to make it uh, but it's going to be very difficult to do one for the very first time without moving your knees or hips at all now this gentleman has been on a journey with the yeah. human flag so I'd throw in different fronts we said it was a muscle up month but just throw in one little juicy human flag so todd davidson todd's been in, in the vip part of the virtual classroom he's engaged with us plenty on on social as well as a strength and conditioning coach um also got some decent numbers on his powerlifting. he's like he's, he's, a, he's big into that so we got to it he is, he is strong and what i was I'm pleased with Todd when he went through this process was he understood the transfer of just basic strength. So I remember seeing some messages if he hadn't been training the human flag, but just from a general strength yeah. perspective, he could produce enough force. And the real connection for him was just learning how to apply that force in a specific movement pattern, even though he hasn't done probably by his own admission, a huge amount of like isometric holds of 10 seconds. He just basically was a strong guy. And he's just rewired a little bit of how he produces force in this pattern. And he's now got what well, I'm expecting you to show me, Jacko. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh, just a, um, you'll see that. It's, it's, we haven't even rehearsed this. But you'll see that he, has two, he, he gets it on the second attempt because he's, obviously that pattern is still relatively yeah. new. So he'll go up on this first one. He's trying to make sure he gets that shoulder through nicely. Comes up into it. And then comes back. What he was, he sort of had it for a split second, but coming down, you're thinking, "Oh, actually, that wasn't very long. Can he, can he actually hold one?" And it's like, "Oh no, let me just get, make sure I make that connection right." And then this time, yeah, shebang, yeah, yeah. now as it makes, and you can see that like that that connection happening, and then boom. And the bit for me about that one, where the big difference is, is what he remembers to do. If you watch it, it's real subtle. Was he kicks himself up, watch his bottom shoulder here. He's just yeah. going to bang that into shape and it goes, it goes boom, boom. Yeah. There. You see that extra little move? There. Just there. Like, he literally just kind of kicks it in, which I'm guessing if we were to go back, I'm going to guess, Jacko, the first one. That, that's uh, yeah. the end of the first. Because you talk about that bottom arm being the anchor. So he, li he lines it up. Does it really it, kind yeah. of put a force on? Watch the second one. extra little bit of like push away and rotation, just a smidge. It's just that bit. There, there, there yeah, yeah, there. You do, yeah, you do. You see, you see, you see. It's yeah. nice. A great example. Now, look at. Now, that's a nice long. Oh, yes, yes and the celebration. Sod. A well. Also, a muscle up heavy month, but some great successes. I'm loving seeing some familiar faces in the, uh, in the graduation reel for September. And loving the celebrations because that's what it's all about, including oh. mine. 
I went hard on yes, that. Yes, yes, to be fair. You probably won the celebration. You celebrated more, I think, than, uh, than Laura did. Well, she was busy above the rings. I was just <laughs> prancing around like a mad person. But sometimes, as you, you know, you guys will know you put skin in the game, and we've seen people put skin in the game, and then we are as equally happy for them to really find an impossible as they are for themselves, sometimes more. Yeah. 100%. So uh, if, you, if you are on that process to redefining your impossible, we've shared plenty before where people haven't done their full thing. It's just a step towards that. Um, feel free to, to share those with us because we need to celebrate those wins along the way. I've had a lot of people saying that to us recently. It's those little wins that give us the motivation to keep going for the big things. Um, and so we'd love to, to hear from you and to see and celebrate with you your graduations. Um, if you need some extra help, we're always here, whether, you can, uh, whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching on social media. Um, and if you would like to follow some of the programs that these guys in the virtual classroom are using, then head over to the virtual classroom at schoolcardscience.com where you can access all the movement civic classrooms as well as uh, stuff that's designed specifically for beginners if you're just trying to get started. There's free content in there for beginners as well. Nothing to say to him, is there? No, he's going to go and bask in your glory. Not yours, theirs. Oh, the graduations. You've done well. Send until, more. Until next month. Class dismissed. Yeah! <laughs> Come on!